glass for you. All right. Much obliged. <laughs> Look at me. Do I look physically threatening to you? I don't do subpoenas. I just don't do them. This is great, Clara. I know that serving subpoenas can be a pain, especially to a rock star like Johnny Clark. It's just that, and as a matter of fact, you're not even the first person I asked to do this job. No offense. Oh, none taken. I even tried to get the little scuzz head to punch me. Maybe even take a couple of couple of teeth out that way it would have been a felony instead of instead of just a misdemeanor all right all i could get him to do was to spit on me that's too bad johnny was oh, one of the first rock musicians i ever represented but he comes charging in here throwing me around in front of my secretary that's his picture over there Right. Yeah. If it had been the first time, then maybe I would have let it go. Uh-huh. So what do you say? Uh, no. I have a rule. I don't do subpoena work. Bye. Of course, there's a... There's a bonus of $2,500. Well, it was never a very strict rule. <laughs> That's Roger. 
He's supposed to be on his way to Toronto. Driver, could you stop, please? doing here? We gotta talk. Well, talk fast. I'm late. There's no record of Roger's Aunt Bess or Uncle Jim ever living in that city. Maybe Bonnie got her facts mixed up. It's not like it'd be the first time. Yeah, well, there's something bugging me. Like, what are you trying to say here? There's something strange going on. Like what? After I left you and Bonnie yesterday, I got in the cab and I went through Central Park. I saw Roger. He didn't go to Toronto like he said. Maybe he took another flight. Right, so I followed him, and he met this guy, and they got into a heated argument, and Roger grabbed the guy. So you saw Roger lose his temper. You know, you kill me. You have been crazy about Roger ever since Bonnie introduced you guys, and she is one of your oldest friends. I know. You are the one that's always saying, Roger and Bonnie, the best couple I know. Well, they are. So don't be so suspicious. It's my job to be suspicious. Not of your friends. You're right. You're absolutely right. Roger's a terrific guy. And now you're going to make a fast and very needed 2,500 bucks. Bon chance. Bon chance. Hurry up. Dépêchez-vous. Dépêchez-vous. Look. Look out there. Good morning. Bonjour. How are you? Comment allez-vous? Very well, thanks. And you? Très bien, merci. Et vous? Please. S'il vous plaît.
Mr. Johnny Dark, I hereby... S you're not Johnny Dark. And you're not very good at your job. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Roger's Roger. Are you stuck on this? There's no record of him going to Dickinson High School. Not one of the people Bonnie S. May check out from his past exists. Not even his deceased parents. And then there's Roger lying about going to Toronto and meeting that guy on the bridge. Whoa. I'm serious, Willie. Okay, sorry. Have you checked out that private school named Dickinson? Mm-hmm. I did. I got calls into it. But it's a very exclusive school. And from what Bonnie tells me about Roger's past, his family, they're not that well off. Maybe he had a scholarship. I checked. There's no scholarships. All right, then. What's my last name? This is a trick question. Pipel. But do you know what my grandparents' last name was? Pipelowski. Really? No, I'm making a point here. You think Roger's real last name is Donalowski? Happens all the time. No way. I'm telling you. There, there. Hey. So when they came over, they changed their name from Pipelovsky to Pipel. I sort of like Pipelovsky. It's got a nice ring to it. My maiden name was Licht. <laughs> but my great grandparents were named Licht Halter. Mm -hmm. See? What about you, Raj? Dolan. <laughs> as far back as I remember. Honey, yeah. you gotta you gotta taste this. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. Great. Yeah. Mm. Anybody else want to bite? No, no thanks. So mm. Roger could have been different, right? No, I doubt it. Dolan's a pretty common Irish name. Mm. Yeah, it is. How is Toronto? Beautiful city. Mm. Oh, 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 I got a name for you, but the guy's got a Y.O., so his record's sealed. That's quick, Randazzo. I like that. A lot? We'll talk about it. Well, you know, it pays to be advice to forensic guys that move quicker for us. Oh, uh, do you want your glass back? The prints came off real clean. <laughs> Great, thanks. What's his name? Richard Detman. That's Roger's real name. But he's got a youthful offender record. We've got to get his rap sheet from the youth division. I don't know. These fingerprints could have been our waiters. He really looked like a criminal. You think I like this? I hate this. Did you call that private school named Dickinson? Yeah. Roger Dolan went there. So what's the problem? Call him. Please. It's uh, uh, 309-555-6298. Ask for Mrs. Whitting. 555-6298. Mrs. Whitting, please. Hi, Mrs. Whitting. This is Willie Pipel from the District Attorney's Office in New York City. Hi. Yes, I'd like some information on a Roger Dolan. Someone inquired about him yesterday. What a coincidence. Uh-huh. Track team, swim team, debating club. Sounds like a great student. Uh-huh. No, that's all I need. Thanks for your help. That was my lunch. I'll buy you lunch. Roger Dolan died in a car accident at the age of 18. Detman. Richard Detman. So Roger. Richard Detman, compliments of the youth division. 
I'm a jerk. I'm glad you said it. 19, he stole the car and he got caught. He spent just a little time in jail. That's probably why he changed his name from Richard Devon to Roger Dolan. He was embarrassed about his record. I feel terrible. I feel good, too. Me, too. I mean, I started thinking if, if Bonnie and Roger are the best couple I know, and she doesn't even know her husband's first name, what am I going to end up with? Hey, man. Being a private investigator is at least easy business sometimes. Not always. I mean, what went through my mind about Bonnie and Roger? Or Richard? Whatever. Listen, listen, listen. Let's just be happy for them, okay? Bonnie is successful in public relations. Roger is a successful marketing consultant. Uh -huh. And they are a great couple. Right? Right. Wouldn't happen to know the name of any of those companies Roger consults for, would you? I was just curious. It's finished. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank all our celebrity athletes for attending our multiple sclerosis charity fundraiser today. And many thanks also to uh, Bonnie Dolan for organizing the event. Uh, I've just been told that the buffet is ready, so feel free to dig in. Ah, you look beautiful. Thank you. Claire! Claire! <laughs> Hello. Do you believe I pulled this off? Almost all the athletes showed up. Danny Sullivan flew in from a race to help out you. How you doing on the Roger front? Much better. Bloodhound on the scent. You're the best. Oh. I want this to be so good. Is everything okay? I'm, I mean, it's all working out, isn't it? Oop. Honey, honey, oh. hey. Is that Danny Sullivan over there? In the flesh. That's what I like. Bye, all. Try to get yourself. Hi. I don't usually do this, but I couldn't help myself. Willie Pipel. Danny Sullivan. I know. I just loved your last race. I lost that one. Oh. Uh, but you did it with such grace. I've got to circulate. Keep Roger company. Hey, Beef. <laughs> I do not. You must be so proud of Bonnie. Yeah. She's terrific. And she's pretty proud of you, too. Yeah? Think so? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a, a successful marketing consultant? I think that's great. What is? You guys? You and Pawnee? You're right. We are? Yeah. And, and a marketing consultant. I think that must be very interesting work, right? It's okay. Yeah? What exactly does a marketing consultant do? I consult for different companies on marketing strategies. Like who? You mean what company? Yeah, what companies? The usual. Name some. Why? Curious. Sorry. I'm a little edgy today. I don't want everything to be just right for Bonnie. Yeah, I understand. See, a lot of what I do is kind of secretive. It's mostly test marketing for major corporations. Like IBM? Yes. Companies like that, right. And uh, if I was working for them, they, they wouldn't want these other companies to know about it. Gotcha. You know, it's a lot like uh, private investigative work. I mean, you wouldn't tell someone the names of the, the clients you're working for, would you? I might. Hey, how you guys doing? Right. My two most favorite people in the whole world. Well, I think I'm going to go check on Willie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. We'd like now to announce the winner of the raffle. Of course, it is for an all-expense-paid trip to... He said he telephoned me. I help you. What is your phone number, please? So if you could just see me through on this little matter, I would be forever indebted to you. This is a highly unusual request. Mr. Dolan is a highly unusual boss. He will surely fire me if he finds out that I misplaced the phone bill. I could lose my job. Then you know exactly how I feel. Oh. 
All right, Roger. Let's see who you do business with. Baby, he doesn't like people grilling him about his business. Coffee? No, really. I've already called half the numbers on Roger's phone bill. Not one of them is a company. Okay. Only private parties, huh? Yeah, and every person I talk to claims they've never heard of Roger Dolan or they hang up. Okay. I'm afraid to ask this, but what do you want me to do? Roger Dolan, D-O-F. Hello, Hex Distributing. Hello, this is Roger Dolan's secretary. I'm afraid we've misplaced the inventory on your product. <coughs> Lost our inventory. <coughs> Can you hold on a second? <coughs> this has got to be the one everyone's been calling us about. Get me Dolan on the phone, will you? <coughs> Throw me them damn cough drops. Yes. I have no idea how she got the number. Yeah. I think I know who it is. I love it when they keep you on hold this long. This is weird. Just checking focus. Uh, I got him. What's he doing? He's watching TV. Yeah? What show? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he just picked up a cassette. He's watching a cassette. I don't know. <sighs> McCarran Investigations. Yes, hello, Mr. Rodman. Um, Harold. Yeah, well, I thought I had him in Central Park, but that didn't quite work out. He is? At rehearsal hall. Great, you know this for sure. Uh-huh. I'm on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I've got faith in me, too. I will serve him the subpoena. I gotta go. Oh. Hi, guys. Hi. Mm, I love them like that. Help yourself. Did you get them? Take a look. I'm going to tune this in better. Uh, that won't help. We were too far away to get a clear shot of what he was watching. Yeah, maybe we could blow it up or something. Hey, Ernie. Ernie. You think Joe will let us use the DVE machine tonight? Well, he's not too busy. Well, what's a DVE machine? Digital video effects machine. It'll get you your blow up. We'll have to enhance it too. It'll cost you some. About 300 bucks. Story of my life. Do it. Great trains. Yours? Yeah. Yeah, Joey, it's George. Yeah. Listen, I need an hour with the DVE. Would you like some more cookies? Yeah, you got any milk? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. We're set for tonight. Great. And your phone's tapped. Your line clicks. What? I'll show you. Well, can we get into your basement?
investigations. Claire, this is Harold Rodman. Yes, hello, Mr. Rodman. <laughs> exact words were either that's a very slim 18 year old or it's an 11 year old doing things I never even heard of. Wow, Roger! Yeah, Roger. And he isn't just watching this stuff, I think he's distributing it too. Because he's got tapes and tapes of this stuff all over his office. Calm down. No, you calm down. This guy is married to one of my closest friends and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. You're going to tell her. Tell her what? Guess what tweaks her husband's motor? He gets off watching kids. Maybe we should take a walk. I get some air. Oh, but it's going to get better outside? It all started out as a little favor. Find some of Roger's old buddies. I mean, they're going to renew their wedding vows. What do I tell Bonnie? Oh, this is too weird, even for me. Well, I didn't want to believe it either. But I didn't want to believe my phone was tapped until George found it. You think Roger's tapped? Roger or one of his associates. Oh. Oh, what the hell am I gonna do? You're gonna tell Bonnie. I'm not gonna tell Bonnie. <laughs> no. I'll do everything I can to put Roger away because what he is doing is disgusting, but I will not be the one to tell one of my closest friends news that will destroy her life. Better to hear it from you than from someone. There's no best person to hear this from, Willie. No, I will be there for her when this comes out, but I won't be the messenger. Then who is Claire? Could you do it? Well, give me a break, huh? How could she not know? Maybe this is her, her way of finding out. Maybe she was too afraid. I gotta get more proof on Roger. Because he's got to be stopped. Damn it, that subpoena. If I didn't need the money so badly. Subpoena to who? Johnny Dark. Johnny Dog says hello. Great. Frank! Would you remove yourself? Is this your car? Not funny. You gotta be crazy having a portion of city. Come on. I haven't had time. Why is it that I am the one with a cop for a brother and I've got less juice with the department than anyone I know? You got a guy sweeping your apartment for bugs, don't you? You think I'd do that for just anyone? You find anything? She's clean. Thanks. Bye-bye. Sunday's drink game, 50 yard line. Appreciate it. No problem. Enjoy yourself. All right. Take Thanks care. again. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. And I promise I'll look into this Hex distributing company. What do you got to eat? Burnt oatmeal raisin cookies. Mm. The woman who never shops, never cooks either. Except for Coca Vaughn. So, what about this stuff with Roger? What if he is trafficking in child pornography? Then he should drown in the kettle of his own vomit. Fred. Oh, what do you want me to say, Claire? The guy should be prosecuted. I agree with you. So drop a dime on him. 
Wrong. I work for the Deputy Commissioner for Public Information. Uh, everybody passes the buck. And I'm not passing the buck. But Dad would have called it. I'll look into it. Right away? Tomorrow. Okay. Did you talk to Mom lately? Well, last night. You should call her. I know. I will. She sure would be surprised to find out about Roger. Yeah. She really liked him. Yeah? I guess you really never know for sure about anybody. I don't know. You think you know everything about Susan? <laughs> of course. Everything? Well, maybe not everything. Why, did you talk to her? No. I hate when you do that. I know. <laughs> you know, that was one of the saddest plays I have seen in a long time. It was a comedy. Oh, you noticed that. Close to all that laughter, I could hear you frowning. She's just gonna cut up. You like it? Yeah. I just made it up. So, are we eating or what? Uh, I've never been to this place. Uh, you been here? Yeah, I come here a lot. You know those people? Two of them. Friends? Well, one of them is. At least she is right now. Friends come and go sometimes. Yeah. And we were very close. Okay. I gotta go to the bank and the post office and the dry cleaners, and they're gonna sew the button back on, and I think I need a wife. Listen real good. Roger Dolan is off bounds to you, starting now. Who the hell are you? Huh? Hey, hey, oh, hey. Man, I'll take you back. Hey, hey. Get your hands off me. No one lays a hand on her. I'm handling this. Don't force it. Get your hands off me. Let him go. What are you doing here? It's a long story, Claire. Let's just get out of no, here. No, wait a minute. Come on. Wait a minute. Who are these guys? FBI. Feds? Surprise. Why do you want me to stay away from Roger Dolan? He belongs to us. Come on, Claire, let's go. No, wait a Come minute. <coughs> the cough. The cough. I've talked to you. You're with Hex Distributing. Very good. Yeah, and the, the cigarette butts. They're the same ones that are in the basement of my apartment when the phone was tapped. She's smart for a girl. Hex Distributing is a federal sting operation. Give her back her piece. You're already on to Roger Dolan. You're going to put him away? Right. Well, you are going to put him away. You're not going to put him away? Roger Dolan isn't your concern anymore. He is distributing child pornography. We know what he does. I don't believe I'm hearing this. No. Ask your brother.
When did you know? Know what? They're going to turn Roger. That's what's happening there, isn't it? I just got briefed a little while ago. At the same time, I was told the feds had my sister. Why are they cutting Dolan a deal? Because he's rolling over on a big-time counterfeiter. So you're telling me Roger walks? Yeah. The guy's slime. He's exploiting children. It stinks. I know. What about the tapes I got on it? You got them illegally. You know they're not admissible in court. Oh, damn it. Of course, if his wife knew anything about this, and you got her to testify. <laughs> upset over the phone. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. What's the matter? Roger. What do you mean, Roger? We've been friends for a long time, haven't we? Yeah. And we haven't lied to each other, have we? What are you saying? When you asked me to find Roger's friends and his family, the only way that I knew how to do it was to check out his past. And you found out his real name was Richard Detman. He was 20 years old, Claire. He made a mistake. Why didn't you tell me about this? Roger just told me a couple of days ago. What else did he tell you? Nothing. Nothing about his business? No, what's with you? Have you met one person that he works with? When we're together, we don't like to do business socializing. Right, but you drag him to all your public relations functions. I resent this, Claire. Honey, you know that I would never hurt you. Never. But you haven't been honest with me. And I'm scared for you. I'm not listening to any more of this. He's into something very terrible. I don't believe you. He is trafficking in child pornography. You're insane. These are tapes. These are tapes of Roger watching children with adults. Roger said you were jealous of me. Oh, Bonnie, you know that's not true. It is true. Lies. Lies. I trusted you. You want out of what, lady? to prove the guy is a distributor with just that. I am. Can we use it to get a judge to issue a search warrant? Long shot. Anybody give a damn about the children in these things? Hey, look, Claire, we'd love to torpedo the feds on this. But you gotta help us. We need more. I have more. Eddie. Neil, this is Bonnie Dolan. Willie told me where you were. Bonnie, I'm sorry. I went up to Roger's office. He wasn't there. I've been married five years. Oh. I owe you one. Hey, life's a bitch. Sue me. Bye. 
I'll stay with you for a while if you want. I'll call you back. He's the one who called you out. You could have fessed up and told the truth. Fessed up? Mm -hmm. You obviously have not played a lot of baseball. Captain of the NYU women's softball team. Yeah? Yeah? I was wondering how you learned how to throw like that, zipping that ball. Johnny, Johnny! Wait, who is that guy? Who's that guy? Johnny, get out of here, Johnny Dark. Johnny Dark. You know him? You like his music? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Oh, that does zip for me. Listen, um, yeah. I gotta get an autograph. Can I borrow your cap? Sure. Put on your jacket? Yeah, okay. sure. Johnny Dark. Thanks for the autograph. You've just been served. Nice. You're fired. What? What was that? Oh, about $2,500. I just served him with a subpoena. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, are you buying? Well, yeah. Maybe. If you admit you missed me a second. Tough deal. Next, on legwork. She was found strangled in her hotel suite. Her husband has been charged with the murder. If it was up to me, I'd pull a license right now. She didn't commit the murder. Well, maybe she could have stopped it. Tell me you're not working for Dawson's lawyer. Yeah, I am. I'm prosecuting him. Yeah, I know. I don't want this to affect our friendship. It's not about friendship, Willie. You do your job, I do mine. I don't think he's a killer. The same instinct got you in the middle of this in the first place. Stay tuned for a revealing talk with one of Hollywood's hottest new directors, Rob Reiner, next on West 57th and tomorrow on CBS Sports. Join us for all the latest on the NFL Today, followed by NFL Action.